Hey, so I wanted to update y'all on um, lessons learned, life lessons. Um, this one was not a lesson that I learned, or at least this video is not a le lesson about what I've learned. And I've never done exactly what uh, one of these McAdoo's did, but but I got pretty close before and uh, have done stuff similar. Probably, probably just about every teenage boy <clears throat> um, could relate to it. Or if you've been a teenage boy, you could relate to it. It's really what I meant. Um, so I'm not going to reveal, I'm not going to say which one of these McAdoo's um, learned something the other day. Uh, I'm not going to call out his name or her name. Uh, but I want to walk you over here uh, to what we now call Connor's Corner. And so this is, let's see here. So this is coming down the drive, right, from our entry gate. So you're pulling on up, and then uh, you come up here to uh, what is now called Connor's Corner. <laughs> and... Um, what you get, what you get is a great view of a patch of land that is going to have some very nice grass once it starts coming in in the spring because the uh, old grass and topsoil has been rid of all problems. Everything standing in the way of new growth and any disease that may have been in there or anything that uh, is not good uh, for the growth of new grass. <laughs> so we've got the yard cut up into sections on a map. Uh, <clears throat> and uh, that just, that says who mows where, uh, not so much for mom and dad, because we never really argued about what sections she's going to mow or what sections I'm going to mow. Um, but the McAdoo's we have run around here week, at, week after week, it seemed to be a heated topic of discussion. So, so we went and uh, sketched out uh, the couple acres that we mow and we labeled them all, divided them up, and put them on a rotation. So this one, however, is now, Connor's Corner is now going to be permanently reserved for one particular McAdoo. So here's what happened. This young person, who again remained unnamed, or at least not called out, um, was doing some welding the other day and it was started this McAdoo was set up here was going to put a, a post in uh, put in some steel pipe either to practice his craft or her craft um, or to make a, a, sign, a directional sign directing uh, people directing the traffic um, and so it was set up here what is on the south side okay and let's see you can see a postal oh here it is so it was <clears throat> had the pipe sitting in this hole and was uh, honing his craft her cra or her craft um, the wind was blowing pretty strong from the south so it was blowing from where we are, that direction, which you may have assumed um, that it was either blowing that way or this way, based on based on the burn uh, area. So, anyways, so this young McAdoo was out here welding, and one of the electrodes sparked, or it really it, it kind of ignited blew up 
and some sparks flew on the on the grass which um, is very dry because we've not had rain to speak of so you take you take a spark or any type of fire uh, any type of thing that's on fire and you throw it on very dry grass mix that with what was likely 15 mile an hour sustained winds gusting to 25 or 30 uh, straight out of the south and within a matter of seconds what you have is you've got a whole area here on fire and you have what many would describe as um, a wildfire that is out of control if you were to label or if you were to say how contained the fire was you would say um, that it was zero percent contained uh, fortunately fortunately there was uh, all of us were home and so the call came out from the field here that there was a problem and um everybody needs to come outside and and help and uh so i bolted out the door uh and saw <laughs> saw flames everywhere um and <clears throat> said a couple things uh to get everybody moving faster and uh we all rushed out folks had um makeshift fire hoses which otherwise were referred to as garden hoses so they're like uh i don't know what are the dinky little garden hoses an inch um inch and a quarter it, really small um so they don't put out a whole lot of water but every drop of water was helpful and much needed and then i jumped on the skid steer and dug out uh, a fire line on the upwind side and uh, fortunately all of those efforts combined plus the uh, quick response uh, call for help from the young McAdoo that was doing the welding <clears throat> fortunately we were left with um, a relatively small piece of charred land the good news and all that is that that is one less mac one less macadoo that uh we have to worry about setting a wildfire at least while they're welding that's my public service announcement for the day hope you can do something good with that